All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm ready to bring you the next episode of Just the Tip, where we bring you all the meat and none of the potatoes. Today, what I want to talk about is another segment of rates tuning. So last time, we talked about RC rate, super rate, and RC expo. What I want to talk about today is something that a lot of people don't seem to be talking about, and that's throttle mid and throttle expo. What this will do, setting these two items, will allow you to add a little bit of expo into your hover spot so that when you're coming out of a dive, you don't get that, that bounce back or to make it easier to fly low and fast because you're, it's easier to maintain that hover spot. Any of those type of items, this will help. What you want to do first is identify the throttle point at which your quad hovers naturally on not just a standing hover, but a flying hover. So fly like you normally would across field, across your yard, wherever. And that natural point where your quad hovers is where we're going to set your throttle mid. Actually, we're going to stick it a few points over that just so that you can make the most of this throttle expo band. All right. Now that I've talked about what we're going to do, let's take a look at this in practicality. This was a brand new build that I took out for the first time. You're watching the first flight here. Now, I'm getting a little carried away doing a little bit more, but experience, right? But you notice in my lower left-hand corner of the screen, in my OSD, I have my throttle position turned on. And that's so at different points in here, when I'm just flying around, no matter what I'm doing, I have a visual reference for where my throttle stick is. At different points while I'm cruising around, especially once I level out a little bit and just start going you know, in and out of trees and kind of staying at the same altitude, you're going to notice that my throttle sits at like 22 to 23%, somewhere in there, just kind of flying around doing steady, easy flying, right? And you're going to notice I have a lot of throttle play in there. You're always going to have that. But what's happening without the expos is that you're getting a one-to-one -one translation through the sticks and out to the quad so that you're going to get potentially quite a bit of like bobble and throttle play and that's what we want to take out now you can't just take my throttle position and use that because this is going to be dependent on your build how much it weighs what type of motors you're using as far as the size as well as the kv so this is very build specific and every build you do is potentially going to have a slightly different throttle point all right so don't use mine as where you're going to set yours. And now that we've taken a look at that, let's go ahead and look at this screen again. So you want to set your throttle mid to that point. So if you notice that you're hovering generally when you're flying somewhere like 25%, uh, percent, then you want to set this probably closer to 23 or 24, okay? Go ahead and set that to whatever your, your midpoint was determined to be, or whatever your hover point was determined to be, minus a couple points. Then you want to head over to the Throttle Expo, and this is where it's going to be highly personalized. Just the way I fly, I prefer around 15 points of Expo on Throttle to control it the way that's natural for me. You might need more or less, and you're just going to have to play with that. Now inside of Betaflight, that's where you would set this. What I'm showing you here is that you can also set this through the OSD, through the Rates menu. So if you scroll down to the bottom of that initial screen inside of Rates, your Throttle Mid is on the first screen, your Throttle Expo is on the second screen. And using that, you can go ahead and lower this and set those two numbers just the same, and that's what can make this easier to tweak as you're out there actually flying this thing, rather than plugging it in, unplugging it, so on and so forth. So now you can use these tools as you're flying around to go ahead and tune that throttle band just like you would your roll and pitch rates to really tune that thing in to what feels natural and how you fly and your, your preferred you know, style of flight to really make it to where you have a really solid control of your throttle. Remember to fly smart, be safe, and happy crashing.